It's close to a decade now since Uganda first sent troops into Somalia. For some of them, there hasn't been any regrets participating in the peace mission. However, today while appearing before the Public Accounts Committee in Parliament, the Ministry of Defense officials were tasked to explain how the African Union gave over 27 million US dollars to the African Union without appropriation of Parliament. Why didn't you, really in the spirit of transparency, opt to treat it as a supplementary and accordingly make it known through Parliament so that Parliament would have given you that authority? Instead of hiding it here because, you know, this is something which has come extra. You no, know, you will have been clear. Mr. Chairman. You will have been clear. While answering queries concerning the Auditor General's report 2010-2011, the committee discovered that $200 was deducted from each soldier's salary, but defense officials argue that the money is used for training and repair of automobiles. Really? Why is it that this 200 is only selectively deducted? from our soldiers who sacrificed their lives in Mogadishu. Why should they deduct money from soldiers who are undergoing training? What's the work of the Minister of Defense? This is blood money. As per the MOU we, we, we signed with the AU, government is authorized to pick that money from the 1,028. 1,028 dollars which is given per soldier. Currently, there are over 5,179 Ugandan troops in Somalia. Meanwhile, another topic of discussion was regarding the uniform deal in which Nyanza Thousand Range was contracted to make the uniforms. It was found out that the company wasn't subjected to the basic principles of public procurement and disposal assets authority. Go to a vendor to buy uniform when you can fly your plane. The same, the same with PDF. How did you come to a point of choosing one company? You simply want a fair deal. That is the reason why they made a legal exit. Which legal exit the PS refused to operationalize. The committee is set to generate a report after receiving the submission from defense officials. Maurice Ochoa, NTV.